how to journalize. How to journalize? Now we know the rules of debit and credit. We have to know exactly how a transaction is recorded. It is recorded first in a journal. That's why we call these how to journalize or the rules of a journalizing. The format of a journal or how it is entered in a journal we shall discuss, we shall come to in a minute. But let us understand how to journalize. What are the rules of journalizing? <clears throat> First and foremost, we will identify the transaction and identify the accounts involved. So once you know what is the transaction we need to record, we will then identify the accounts involved. Let's say buying of purchase, um, sorry, buying of furniture, purchasing furniture for cash. So what are the two sides involved? You will have furniture and we will have cash. Furniture comes in and cash goes out. So identify the accounts involved. So we've got the transaction is, what is the transaction? Identify the transaction. That is purchase of furniture for cash is the transaction. What are the accounts involved? It is furniture and it is cash. Classify. Each account you take and decide, is it an asset? Is it a liability? Is it an expense? Is it an income? So what is furniture? It is an asset. What is cash? It is an asset. Okay, so we have done classified. We have first identified the transaction. We have identified the accounts involved. Then we have classified. Is it asset? Is it liability, expense or income? In this case, we have two assets. Then apply the rule. What was the rule we did? Increase in asset is a debit. Increase in asset is a debit. Therefore, furniture is a debit. Decrease. It is not given here. But if increase in asset is debit, it means, it means decrease in asset and decrease in expense is, is credit, is credit. So cash, there is a decrease because we've paid cash. Cash has gone out. Therefore, this would be credit. Therefore, debit and credit represents the two aspects of a transaction. There will always be a debit in a transaction and an equal amount of credit in the transaction. So what did we do? Identify the transaction. What is identifying of the transaction? In this instance, example, we consider purchase furniture for cash. Then identify the accounts involved. What were the accounts involved? Furniture and cash. Then classify. What is the classification? What is furniture? It is an asset. What is cash? It is an asset. Okay. Next, apply the rule. What is the rule? Increase in an asset, you debit. Increase in an asset, you debit. Decrease in an asset, you credit. In this case, both were assets. Increase was furniture. Therefore, I will debit furniture and I will credit cash because cash has come down. So what are our rules? Increase in asset and expense is debit. Decrease in asset and expense is therefore credit. Increase in liability and income is credit. Therefore, therefore, decrease in liability and income is, is, decreases debit. Decrease in liability is debit. Decreases in income is This is the same chart that we had done before. If you take asset, liability, debit, credit, TR and CR if I take, increase in asset, we will debit. Right? Decrease in asset, we will credit. Increase in liability, We will credit. Decrease in liability, we will debit. 